These are the best highlights from the matchup between JDG and EDG during the 2024 LPL Summer Split. There's Grump as well, and I think Jay just he finally got around, a read on that. Yeah. He just turned around immediately going into that top side. I wonder if she is going to try and defend those camps for him, but he's oh. got a wave up there. That's the problem. Leave. Leave. He gets no tagged. Cleanse. Here comes the spear. Kanavi with those cougar claws. I told you, you can't turn and run from a cougar. Oh, They'll no. get you all day long. And that will be first blood over Splash. the JDG. Very happy to take that trade. As now Sheer. Oh, no, Sheer. Uh, it was so nice. Caught twice. This time you don't got Cassante things to get you out of it. Solo kill will take him out. It was so nice. JDG. Unfortunately, watch ADG, EDG not let him do it twice. As now JDG will get this bottom tier tower. Tier 1 tower, rather. It's only one dragon, though. 14 minutes in, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Solo kill's gonna itself. And that should just about close up the gold difference between those two top laners, I think. That was a thousand gold in turret place to Zyra Jungle. We'll end up getting the Rift Herald. Ooh, another arrow. It's gonna find JJ in transition. Nice block by Wink with the double grain interest. Wow. This man is doing everything, but JJ's health bar is saying, no, I gotta go. And Yagao's trying to chase him down. The buster shot will get him the reset. He's not gonna chase any further as the- Yagao has flash, but no turret. <laughs> So, um, yeah, has a long way to run. Is not oh. gonna buffer the grand entrance. The counter strike comes out, Yagao gets killed. A TP from Sheer a little bit too late, but maybe looking for more as Wink's health bar is not very high. All out comes through. Those in Tofus hit strong oh, and the turret falls. He's still got the damage to tick up, and Sheer goes forward now. Ruler not gonna follow up as he does not With have the Iceborne Gauntlet. I think that could have very easily been a chase down onto the Jax as well. Not bad there. But, uh, JDG, find another play. EDG, crying. I pick up this tower there. EDG very, is subscribed uh, to the League of Triforce here. They're actually going to try to subscribe topical. to the League of Take Down Sheer multiple times in the game. He does not have a little. Uh, actually, yeah, okay. I mean, that, that fourth one is okay. not going to be enough. <laughs> I was like, it's a, it, he might still have an exit, but the, as soon as Wink comes over uh -oh. the top, now Leave just might die in mid lane. Not going to find the spear. Ends up getting the arcane shift away. That's Rift Herald and bot side. A tempo play by EDG as they take down Sheer. And they're able to take down a tier 2 tower here as well. Yeah. All right. EDG. Finding some nice openings on the map to, at the very least, oh, answer out. <laughs> Wink's going to ride the Herald out for fun. Start off this drag, though. And JDG not once willingly go quiet into the night. Kanavi's in the pit. Kanavi steals it because he's just better. And he's going to go for it for another one. If he gets a kill, gets shut down right after. Now EDG trying to fight their way out of this one. Solo kill crying. They're fighting tooth and nail at the pit of the dragon. But it's only going to be solo kill left. And Yagao missing a cheer. Clean him up real good. Yagao, the vibes captain. It's like nothing is different. This team is functioning like a machine right now. And speaking of, maybe a machine oh. that walks into bushes unaware. And <laughs> ruler. <laughs> I cast a curse JDG from hell there. Every ruler will go down the lead. That's actually really big as well. Very accelerated, yeah. but he's also, you know, very much building cheaper items. That said, doesn't make him a weak champ. Arrow. As the arrow. Ooh. Ooh. Not able to hit on point. Ruler has a found block from just yet. Wink has been consistent in big run entrances. False engage there by EDG, but they've gotten a full engage by Solo Kill, who goes over for a double counter strike, but gets immediately taken out of the fight. EDG, they're turning tail and running, but JDG, they're gonna rip him right back. That Strangle Thorn able to separate a little bit more. The resets were not there just yet. They Leave tank. Laid as traps, and then they get to play off them oh really easily. God. Is he gonna get him? He's gonna commit the death. Oh, the last turret shot. We get the solo bolo trade down in bot side. Now it's a 4v4. All right. JDG. Mm -hmm. Chemtech. It's just... And I'll be honest. Chemtech? It's one of the few times I'll say Soul's going to be really annoying to deal with. As a... Uh, missing. Yeah. Taking a lot has hit. it. Yeah, solo kill can't do it. Yeah. It was a good TP in the sense of they didn't know oh. he was there, but now... This is a bit problematic. That minion is faster oh, than solo kill. Oh, the arrow, no. That's all the way from distance, so he literally can't do anything. And Ruler, once again, setting the bar of measurement here in the LPL. And it goes straight into the Baron play by JDG. JDG also needs to pay that one caster minion a bit more shit. 
Yeah, What's a little looking bit for? deep here. <laughs> Definitely a, a little bro <laughs> moment to get the big bros, the Baron, but Yagal maybe trying to join his little bro in death is quickly. Back. Now he's in the special task force and he feels a little bit, you know, don't want to say outclassed, but he's got a lot of experience around him. Yeah, he does it very quickly here. JDG really not in position to punish, but maybe the fight after. EDG trying to exit. They're getting caught on the death wall here, and now they're caught between a rock and a hard place, and that's uh -oh. a Kasate with a triple knockback there into the wall. Big all out, bringing Wink right back to the team, and that's one kill away by JDG. They will not through any further, but they're going straight down mid lane with this Baron buff. Exactly. They'll get an inhib for this at least. EDG have to reset, and it's slow resets for all of them. Good fight for JDG. Good angle from Sheer. Redeemed himself a little bit. I mean, that death for Baron earlier, it's technically worth anyway, but just doing another fantastic job locking down multiple that members. Now. Leave needing to be the damage source here for EDG, but they haven't scaled up fast enough. They're on those four items, but it might not just be enough, or at least close to four items for the major carries here of EDG. But against the top, it feels like you can't really do much as the Ezreal. Your poke does not stick. And Crying's health bar is not sticking either. But EDG, they have one last desperate play on the Kanavi, who's out positioned right now. Going to flash right back to his team. And he is just fine. But the only remaining inhib left. And they only have a couple turrets to crack that one open. Not bad. JDG just going by the books here. Shower, like you say, still up and available. No banshees on GRG. Deep TP, TP. TP, TP. Is this the play? Can EDG make it happen again? A defense for memory here. They go for the double counter strike. They get it. Now Yagao is just free firing over the wall here. And JDG might have just done it, missing, blocking so much damage. Solo kill going for the play, but he gets booster shot it out of there. Now it's all sheer moving forward. Might just trade his life for it, but look at the flank by JDG. A beautiful oh, spear man. by Kanavi takes the life of JJ, and there will no be a defense from EDG. That's JDG making a mark on game number one. And oh, we wanted to look at Kanavi versus JJ, and Kanavi came out on top, top time again. A 1 0 lead and a potential dashing of the hopes of EDG. JDG do it meticulously. Their second game to close out against TT. We're going to see JDG pilot a very similar feeling composition here in this game number two of their series not, they continue to this keep deep the flank up. man what yep oh my goodness weeks like where did you come from oh uh, now they're gonna get over the top uh -oh. by crying who is able to get there first now it's kanavi gets flashed on by jj now things are going the way of edg and crying can follow up with a little bit now jj going right back on the get gal this red buff doing some work with the burns but EDG respond in kind single to team. highlight reel every single week in the top plays. It was actually insane. And then he had a very quiet but still deadly spring. And now in summer, we haven't seen necessarily every pop-up. Leap off. of no flash. There's no vision here as well. Do they have the burst damage through cleanse? That's my question. They don't have the Lilting Lullaby, but they have damage. Now they get leave oh. down very low, but those turret shots are doing some work now as well as they're getting stacked up. Here comes crying to JDG. They're in some trouble. Missing might just give his life there, and he does over to leave. Now the oh. bounce over the wall. Konami in some trouble here too, and EDG, they've gotten two kills for leave, and that's ginormous. All right, well, EDG just yeah. credit to Wink. Does such a good job peeling this dive. <laughs> oh, oh boy. They saw him go into the bush because of the control ward, and at the last second, he sees what has caused his death as he will fall. That's JDG he making last good. Year, utilizing, to be honest with you. As a uh, JJ. Let me get aggressive here onto Sheer. Does have that armor shred there. Solo kills trying to get the distance here. Wink's coming around too. All out, all in on the sheer. He's still Scorpion Man, but then he carved up leg after leg, and Solo Kill gets it. Yep, yeah, Solo Kill. A little bit more than perhaps uh, they should without that tool. But Solar Flare is such a example, of course. Though, that aside, EDG, they will finally get this tower up here on the top side. Not going to be a plated tower, but Cryon will definitely better than nothing. Herald dropped on the bot side, though. And look at this positioning from JDG because they're not actually there to defend that tier two. So that should go down for EDG. 
Get another another one, maybe. Exchange. And they're not going to get tier one either. So EDG are actually running JDG around the map a little bit here. And this is all before dragon spawns, no less. So, not right Bad before it's all. But in all fairness, I think for EDG, that's better. That's better in the immediate future. 600 gold shared between Lilia and Jace. 700, actually. You don't really want that, do you? Our captain needs help, and they are sending everyone. It's little bro who showed up again, but it's Konami, the general of them all, who's going to set them up with a sweet, sweet oh. lullaby, and then Sheer impales them on the stinger as JDG have pounced, and now they're looking at a tier two pot side. Animal Kingdom is in the favor of JDG. They've got a deer and a scorpion. Ooh. They had on the side of EDG. It was a monkey. So, EDG, they lose that plate. They're going to lose this tier two as well. That's so much gold. It's going to be split as well. Yeah, JJ's that's still there. So I was getting to, they need the opportunity first, though. Yagao is going <laughs> to... Have a... <laughs> yeah. Lee yep. gets a massive chunk of gold off <laughs> taking down <laughs> Yagao. They're going to murder it pretty fast. I mean, they have a lot of sustained damage from crying. Here comes Kanavi. He's already gotten the steal once against JJ. JJ needs to right those wrongs. The True Shot Barrage, the TP coming in. EDG want to fight here, but JJ goes for the Baron. They do end up securing it. Wink giving his life. Oh, they ended up getting solo kill with the fade away, and they're going to clean crying up as well. Everyone's just running for the hills here from EDG, and Sheer can't chase down the remaining members. So two Baron buffs make it out alive for EDG, but JDG have wrestled complete control of Summoner's Rift. What an excellent job from JDG, just to clean up some of those kills. Good defensive play from a couple of the members of EDG, just to ensure that not everyone dies and they take the Might be a little careful of some of the poke coming through, but JJ getting a big combo with the Cyclone or Wink getting an engage is massive. EDG have a lot of follow-up and Wink oh. hasn't been spotted, now will be. The engage though comes over the wall onto Ruler. They can't get him though, and now they've overextended. Kanabi found the back line here, and he's gone golden. An impale on the two members, and JDG, you blink, and all of a sudden EDG are gone, and their hopes are gone Dude, too. Stop the dive in from Leave, because I could have sworn he tried to Killer Instinct onto Ruler on the back line. Wink's engage was actually pretty solid. All things considered about the angle and being found out. But now, forget that, JDG are on to one inhibitor in the mid lane. They won't quite get that second one down in the bottom side of the map, but that EDG's engage. Whilst when it works, it works. It's super conditional, and now uh, they've definitely caught on to Wink. Home, Being home on area. the range. <laughs> There's a wild <laughs> buffalo that roams. <laughs> and I guess Wink finding his roaming buffalo status will end up getting away with a blast cone, but might just have to sacrifice his life. And the True nope. Shot Barrage gets Ruler the kill. 5 0 3 and some carved up beef for him. Not bad. Mage. Any fight that plays out for EDG here is likely to be negative unless they can find those key targets. JJ has done it before. He has to do it here. Maybe a little bit of revenge for him. He's in there. They're going to find the back line with Leave. Leave is massive now, though. There's the engage into the Baron pit. The Baron going low. JJ is not alive to take it. And JDG, they said, screw the Baron. We want your lives. Now solo kill on the back line all by himself. But crying, trying to put on the best performance he can. But he's down and out. The Baron still up. JDG no. still finishes off that one and you know again EDG very nice and creative from leave to you know make that play but at the end of the day it just doesn't matter you're Second already down here with JDG and now they're looking to softly and easily go into that group A next time in the next round oh I don't know if they have the engage <laughs> oh no Konami's just taking I swear I just need to stop talking about JDG they still have a three man <laughs> impale right there and the oh. hammer slam up as EDG still turns it all the way around and Sheer has to flash his way out of there. Ruler King. Oh, this poke is my yeah, goodness me. It does Ryan. so much. He's going to pop the Lilting Lullaby. Gonna slip, They're going to use it as a distractionary tool. The truth. Oh, he's dead! With the burn and all those dominoes. They're starting to burn into life here. You got Leave on the side. Nice double impale there from Sheer. Is it going to be enough? Leave is massive here, but he's going to get run straight into the wall. And EDG's hopes and dreams. Their hope of ascending to Group A will be left out in the dust 
and JDG will remain king of Group A. The only other team to go 6-0 is Top Esports. They're setting that mantra here. Closing out against DDG, relegating them to Group B. And whilst the game lengths were quite long, I'll tell you one thing. EDG had not a lot of a chance back in. As These they... were some of the best highlights from the 2024 LPL Summer Split matchup between JDG and EDG. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.